Saint Cyprian of Carthage is considered one of the most important figures and father of the African Church. The Roman Catholic Church commemorates his feast day on September 16, the same day as his friend, Pope Saint Cornelius. Born Fascius Cyprianus into a rich pagan Berber, or Roman African, Carthaginian family in 210 AD. He is believed to have received a classical education in Carthage, became a leading member of a legal fraternity, an orator, a pleader in the courts, and a teacher of rhetoric. After dissipated youth, Cyprian was baptized when he was 35 years old in 245 AD, adding a second name Cassilius, in memory of the priest to whom he owed his conversion. After his baptism, he gave away a portion of his wealth to the poor of Carthage, as befitted a man of his status. Not long after his baptism, he was ordained as a deacon and soon afterward a priest. Sometime between July 248 and April 249, he was elected Bishop of Carthage. However, his rapid rise did not meet with the approval of senior members of the clergy in Carthage, an opposition that did not disappear during his episcopate. In early 250, Emperor Decius issued an edict ordering sacrifices to the gods to be made throughout the empire. Cyprian chose to go into hiding, rather than face potential execution. While some clergy saw that decision as a sign of cowardice, Cyprian defended himself, pointing to the actions of the apostles and Jesus himself. And therefore the Lord commanded us in the persecution to depart and to flee. And, both taught that this should be done, and himself did it. For as the crown is given by the condescension of God, and cannot be received unless the hour comes for accepting it, whoever abiding in Christ departs for a while does not deny his faith, but waits for the time. Many Christians who fell away were referred to as lapsi, fallen. The majority had obtained signed statements, libelly, certifying that they had sacrificed to the Roman gods to avoid persecution or confiscation of property. In some cases, Christians had actually sacrificed, whether under torture or otherwise. Cyprian demanded that Lapsi undergo public penance before being readmitted to the church. He strongly believed that Lapsi could be readmitted to the church after penance. Cyprian believed the see of Peter was the direct heir of Peter, while Cyprian believed that all the apostles were equal and that all the bishops followed the apostles in succession, Cyprian emphasized the unity of the church under a single cathedra. He assigns a like power to all the apostles, yet he founded a single chair, and he established by his own authority a source and an intrinsic reason for that unity. Indeed, the others were that also which Peter was, but a primacy is given to Peter, whereby it is made clear that there is but one church and one chair. So too, all are shepherds, and the flock is shown to be one, fed by all the apostles in single-minded accord. After 14 months, Cyprian returned to the diocese and addressed the North African bishops about having left his post. He then convoked a council of North African bishops at Carthage to consider the treatment of the lapsed. Cyprian took a middle course between the followers of Novartis of Carthage, who were in favor of welcoming back all with little or no penance, and Novation of Rome, who would not allow any of those who had lapsed to be reconciled. The council in the main sided with Cyprian. In late 256, a new persecution of the Christians broke out under Emperor Valerian, and Pope Sixtus II was executed in Rome. In Africa, Cyprian prepared his people for the expected edict of persecution and set an example when he was brought before the Roman proconsul Aspasius Paternus where he refused to sacrifice to the pagan deities and firmly professed Christ. The proconsul banished him to Kurubus, now Corba in Tunisia, where he comforted his flock and his banished clergy. It is believed that he had a vision where he saw his approaching fate. On September 13, 258, Cyprian was imprisoned on the orders of the new proconsul, Galerius Maximus. After a public examination the following day, Cyprian was sentenced to die by sword. The execution was carried out immediately. He removed his garments without assistance, knelt down, and prayed. After he blindfolded himself, he was beheaded by the sword. 
the body was interred by Christians near the place of execution. Cyprian's martyrdom was followed by the martyrdom of eight of his disciples in Carthage. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.